the purpose of this video is I just want to make sure that you know which videos you should watch this week from Linda if you didn't watch them last week. So these are the last files that we need to watch from Linda, the last videos that we need to watch from Linda. I'm guessing that some of you probably started watching some of these last week, which is great. Maybe you've left it all to watch this week, but what these files will, what these videos will do is they'll walk you through how to create a complete site from scratch. You know, why is this important to us? Well, it's pretty important to us because our term projects are going to be due at the end of next week. So by going through and watching how Bill goes through and create his site from scratch, you should be thinking about how you can create your site from scratch. Again, Bill's site is much more complex than um, what our sites need to be. And I talk about that specifically when you advance here. If you go down, scroll down, I talk through specifically each of the videos that you're watching and how that information could perhaps be used for our own purposes in our class. Again, Bill's, pa Bill's page is a little bit more complex than our site needs to be. Feel free to, to, to have yours be, to be very similar to his, but again, it's not re required. Be sure that you're viewing the syllabus. You can view the syllabus by going on the home page and clicking syllabus. Let me show you from your view. Go on the home page and click syllabus. And this, this will talk specifically about what is required in your term project and how it's specifically graded. Let me scroll down here. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Uh, let's see. Right here. So this talks specifically about what is in, uh, how your specific uh, term project will be graded. These are the things that I'll be looking for. And I'll be going through and I'll be saying, you know, this is not acceptable, this is below expectations, this met the expectations or exceed the expectations. And I'll be filling this out and giving you specific comments and general comments here. So as you're viewing the, uh, the content for, for, as you're viewing the content for Linda, be sure you think about that as you are deciding what to, to put in your term project. So to log into Linda, you're just going to go over here and you're going to click on Information Services Workshop, and then you're going to be logging in, just like we've always done. Don't forget EWL at the, at the end of your password. Once you get logged in, you can then go to Subject, Web Interactive, then you can filter your results by clicking on, uh, this is already filtered for me because I was in here earlier today. Scroll down to the bottom, and then this is the one that we're watching right here, and then you can then scroll down to the bottom, and you're watching the very end of the video, these segments if you haven't yet. Um, basically, up to this point, You've gained a foundation to understand how to build your an entire site from scratch. Um, one of the important things to remember with your term project is you need to have you do need to have an external style sheet to control the visual design of your uh, term project website. And he's going to talk about that here. Another important thing that he does is he differentiates the differences between designing a site uh, within a table and designing a site within uh, an absolute position div. In your midterm, we designed it in a table. In your final exam, for those that are, are uh, we're going to be actually doing it in an absolute position div. Um, and that's the same thing. He kind of differentiates that from here. And that's all within this first segment right here. And then within the, the sample files here, I allow you to download, download the files for Chapter 9 here, download the complete site in a table layout, and download the complete site with a CSS-based absolute, absolute position div layout. Um, it's not required for you to have your term project website in an absolute position div. Most students just do it in a table, but I would recommend for those of you who have a little bit more experience in HTML, you should definitely consider doing yours in an absolute position div. Um, so that's about it. Be sure that you go through and watch all of these videos to give you a, a background on what you need to know for your term project website. And we all look forward to seeing drafts of our term project website. Perhaps uh, this would, you definitely need to have them done this week. Um, so be submitting those in your term project journal for me and the class to review and discuss. And then also be sure that you're practicing, you know, putting them up in the lab books as well. Have a good day.